Hey, and welcome to my channel. Today is just a quick um, how to cook barley. This will also be in my meal prep um, video. So if you think something looks familiar, it will. <laughs> but I thought just how to cook barley alone deserved its own little video. So I did it in the Instant Pot and I did it in the rice cooker. So stay tuned to see if they worked and if I liked one better than the other. Or if I even liked it. Who knows? Stay tuned. Now, to make our barley, we're going to cook it two ways to see how they compare. On my website, you'll also find the directions to do it on the stove top. We're going to do it in my little mini dash rice cooker and the instant pot. Now, this is the barley I'm using. It's just the Goya barley. It does not say pearled, so I'm not treating it as pearled. And the back says the recipe it gives should cook an hour so that tells me from what i have looked up that it's not pearl so anyway it just came like this if it does say pearl barley it does not have to cook as long and this is what it looks like dry just little little grains i have already rinsed it because you always want to rinse it no matter which way you cook it for the rice cooker it says to use the amounts and directions that you would use for brown rice. I'm making way more than I need for my recipe today, but I'm going to freeze the accent, ac the accent, <laughs> the excess. But I wanted to test two ways. I did cut this in half of what my instructions say. This is a half a cup of barley, and this is three quarters of a cup yeah, of water. And we're just going to turn that on. Let's see, whatever, if you don't have, that's what I was going to say, if you don't have, an, this one automatically shuts off. If yours doesn't, just follow those brown rice instructions. Now, let's come over here at the Instant Pot. Now, in here, I already have one cup of rinsed barley, and to it, I'm going to add two and a half cups of water. Now, you can use stock of any kind you want vegetable beef chicken you can add salt to it or not add salt to it i'm just not going to i'll add it to it um, at the end this will cook for 23 minutes on high hit the seal i always forget to hit that seal so we just want 23 minutes and then it suggests to do a 15 minute natural release so, I'm thinking these, after the release of this one, after it comes to pressure and then cooks and has the release, both of these might finish around the same time. So, at any rate, I'll be back when I have both of them done. Okay, so both got done. I've not even opened this yet, and I didn't pay attention. It did not take near as long as brown rice. I was in the back room and didn't pay attention to when it flipped over to warm. But... It was already done by the time the um, Instant Pot was done and um, let to release. Now we're going to check this together. Well, it, it did cook. Look at there. A little bit stuck to the bottom, but that's how this cooker does. Um, it does it with rice, too. But it's pretty um loose. Now let's come over here and see what the Instant Pot looks like. Alright, so I let the steam out, but I haven't opened it yet. So I'm not sure. Hmm, it already looks different. It is moister. Okay, let's look at the difference. If I'm too close. See how much moister it is in the instant pot and dry it is can you tell the difference on the camera let me let this cool off and come back and tell you how they're cooked if they're both cooked or not cooked so hold on all right the verdict is this part up here i tasted both of them i didn't salt it because i just wanted to taste the actual grain i didn't want to um, alter it in any way this that was in the rice cooker, I, it, it's just chewy, 
not like gum, just a texture of brown rice, really, and it's dry. I'll still use it. It's probably what I'm going to put in our soup today because it, it'd be more, um, um, it would be better in a soup that's got a lot of liquid than it would just to eat on its own, which I don't really know any recipes how to do it. So I'm not going to waste it. That's probably the one that I'll put in my soup. This one in the Instant Pot, I recommend, and I imagine it comes out the same way on the stovetop. I, I'm, I'm imagining. It's moist, and it, it, neither one of them has a flavor. I thought maybe barley had a specific taste, but I don't taste anything. I taste more on this one, but it's like a, I told David, I can't even describe it. It, it tastes like water. <laughs> that sounds stupid, but I don't, know how, I don't know how to describe it. But like he said, at least it doesn't have some weird, strange taste, you know, to flavor our food. We just get the health benefits of it. So my um, final take is, unless you want it dry like this, I wouldn't make it in the rice cooker. I would either do it in the Instant Pot or on the stove top. So... Um, that's all I'm going to, that's, that's all we're going to talk about the barley. And if you're watching this as a standalone video, then I will see you on my next one. And if you're still here, we're going to jump into one of our meal preps and I don't even know which one.